And to better understand the challenge posed by malaria and the ongoing efforts across Africa, we joined live from Johannesburg by Yvonne Chaka Chaka. Yvonne Chaka Chaka is a celebrated African music icon and a goodwill ambassador for the Roll Back Malaria Partnership. She was appointed by UNICEF as a special ambassador on malaria in Eastern and Southern Africa in April of 2005. Yvonne, thank you very much for joining us here on Africa Live. Now, what have been the main achievements of the campaign against malaria in Africa? Thank you for having me. I know that malaria has been a burden for a very long time, but I must say that since the Abuja Declaration and since the inception of Rollback Malaria, the, the Secretariat, so much work has been done and we've seen the numbers um, coming down. We've seen all the interventions that, that, that are there, but I know we have problems. You know, the mosquito is getting cleverer every time and we need more money for, for, for research and things like that. But you know, ACT, long lasting nets, indoor residual spraying have done a significant work you know to bring down the bring down the number of, of, of deaths from malaria and I must say to the uh, presidents and the leaders in different countries who have worked very hard I think it's important that you know we have the political will African leaders must start walking the talk and we've seen a significant change and uh, people understanding what is the problem right. and doing what they need to be doing well the more money is needed there for research into malaria but many African governments have not committed much funds to healthcare, what can be done and should be done to scale this up? You know, as I said, that it's important that African leaders start investing in their people because, you know, if you want development, you have to invest in malaria. Money from donors is coming and sometimes it's drying out because, you know, everybody's having problems. So it's important that leaders invest in their own people so that when money comes from uh, uh, donors, it's a cherry on top. We've got that 15% uh, for health that some of the other countries are still very far, you know, from putting their 15%. But I am very, very optimistic that, you know, the numbers of malaria deaths have come down, you know, with 50%. In other countries, 33%. So, you know, the light is there. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. And we actually need a fully funded global fund because, you know, in 151 countries, money has been used and we've seen the good that has happened. And for the fact that that money is being used by the countries as well, the country involvement, I think really for the donors who want to put in money in the Global Fund, they have to be encouraged to do that and we need to see that money coming in. All right, uh, Yvonne Chakachaka joining us there from Johannesburg. We'll leave it there for the moment, but thank you for your insights.